good morning everybody welcome to a brand new vlog oh my goodness uh, it is currently 6 30. i'm here to show a few days in my work week so as some of you know i recently went back to work at um the bakery that i used to work at all through college and um i'm back baby <sighs> so i'm working there full time i'm currently scheduled for the morning shift which um i only really work like once a week i usually wake up at six on these days so i can have some time to myself um mentally it always makes me feel a lot better if you know, I get all my ducks in a row before I go to work. But anyways, I'm just gonna listen to a bit of an audiobook. I'm about to head upstairs and just take a beat, drink my coffee. Come along with me today, it should be fun. Let's go. which is nice. Uh, it's 12.38, so just gonna have a snack. So basically, I eat at the bakery at least once a day. So I'm having some fresh honey white bread that came out of the oven with some avocado on top, as well as some spinach and balsamic vinegar. And then I also have some strawberries as well that I thought were actually from the freezer. And then a cup of coffee. Just get to sit here, kind of enjoy the leaves and yeah it's not too bad hey everybody so i'm back at the house now i finished my shift um i'm very sweaty because i just biked home and it can be quite the workout since we live on a mountain um but you know keeps gets that heart rate up and it's a nice dose of daily exercise right now though it's a very happy time because i get to be reunited with my favorite human being it's me oh look at your veins what do we think i'm obsessed we're still adjusting and by we i mean me and uh it's exciting it's exciting i didn't know this is your, the bang debut bang i brought debut. you a muffin from the I'm bakery i'm so excited alien brought me a pumpkin muffin and i have to say this may probably made my day <laughs> pumpkin chocolate chip here you go and we sold out today and everything so that was the last one yay and i have a very squished pumpkin bar but Pumpkin. Pumpkin theme. Autumnal. Now I'm gonna go shower and get ready because Michelle, tell them where are we going? We are going to a pumpkin, pumpkin patch. patch. We're so excited. It's this really cute one called Turner Farms and I've heard really good things. So hopefully it's fun. I think this is their last weekend of doing pumpkin patch. Yeah, it's getting colder stuff, so it might snow next week, did you see? In the it might snow this weekend, literally. Wow. This is Sunday. Oh my god, a snowy birthday for me. But we're super excited to go to the pumpkin patch. Um, is it cold outside? It's not that cold. Oh. Anyway, fall things. Fall things. I just asked Michelle if she would share a little project that she's been <laughs> getting together for the house. So Michelle, please. So essentially, I am the environmental coordinator for this household, and I have signed us up for a composting program in Missoula. So this is our countertop 
composting bin. We do have a larger bin down in our garage. And so basically, this is where we're gonna put all of the compostable goods and you can take it down at the end of the day and start filling up your bin so that your kitchen obviously doesn't smell bad. Another way you can compost from home is by putting all of your food scraps in the freezer so that they don't smell and they don't like start decomposing before your very eyes. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. And then over here, <laughs> we've got a little um, label of everything that is compostable and everything that is not. So, this is a nice helpful guide for the family. Oh, hello! Wow, look at that, it's a vlog interruption. You know what that means, this is sponsored content. Thank you so much to our lovely, lovely sponsor, Ana Luisa. We have worked with Ana Luisa before and we just have to say they are some of our favorite people to work with. Their jewelry is Elite. Elite. So stunning. The range of like different styles that they have is just absolutely phenomenal. I never thought that I would be this into jewelry. I'm gonna be honest. Look at this. So what is Ana Luisa? Ana Luisa is a beautiful, sustainable jewelry brand. Not only are they top-notch quality, exceptional tarnish free, we love to see it. Also, very fair prices, which I have to say is kind of hard to find yeah. when it comes to jewelry. But Ana Luisa has designs uh, starting at $39, so very reasonable for such quality goods that are also very eco-conscious, which we are obsessed with. So the last time that Ana Luisa sponsored a video, last month, I think it was, it wasn't too long ago, they had a goal to be carbon neutral by the end of 2020. Well, guess what? <laughs> they have done it, which means that they are 100% carbon neutral, which is incredibly exciting. We've got some really cute jewelry on today. I have these little baby baby hoops that I basically haven't taken off since I received them. They're so cute. I wanted an everyday earring and this is definitely that. So, so cute. And then also this tiny baby pearl oh, necklace, which I love. I think it's so chic and really cute for winter. So my padlock, right? I think it's a super sophisticated spin on the trend of having padlocks on chains as a necklace, which I'm also obsessed with. And then I also have these two studs. These are from the same earring packet. And I was looking for, as Michelle said, like an everyday earring, something that I could just leave in and not worry about. Especially since I lost my original earring that went in this second earring hole. So anyway, I love that as well. And so cute. We have a super exciting announcement. Wow. Anna Luisa is running a Black Friday sale. So if you've been wanting to try out their pieces, this is the perfect time to do so. We'll put that link down below. Make sure to check them out and get yourself something cute or maybe start your holiday shopping and get something for someone you love. Uh, we Honestly, think you'll wow, really love idea. it. So thank you so much for watching this bit of sponsored content and thank you even more to Anna Luisa. Oh my god, we love you guys. They have been an absolute joy to work with. Without further ado, let's get back into the video. Hey everybody, so we are here at the pumpkin patch. Uh, we just arrived. It's actually like a block away from the orchard that we went to like two weeks ago. So we are in shock because like, do they know each other? Probably. Obviously we are showered and ready. We look cute, we look cute. The fits are pretty good. I did have a moment where I just completely forgot how to style myself and Michelle had to help me. Didn't because you had to help me. And I had to help her. Yeah, she first came in looking like a goddamn clown. And I looked like a, um, I don't know, mom of 50 off the bat. And then we had to like, you know, age it down. Loving the uh, hipster 2000 vibes, honestly. Uh, but the most important thing is that we look queer. And that, <laughs> and that is that. <laughs> so we're gonna head in and get some pumpkins and check out this this farm. I hope it's good. I've heard good things, but we've never been in here. It kind of looks just like a backyard, but I don't know what to expect. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, oh, my best friend got sent my own good fortune. You know you are. Me up. 
it is time to make dinner so i'm going to make a vegan meal because that's kind of what we've been doing for dinners lately so i'm gonna just whip something up i think i'm gonna make some falafel i don't know we'll figure it out i know that corn has to be incorporated as well because we have corn in the fridge that needs to be cooked so yeah look how curly my hair is now that i've showered it's like so much so much better um than it did <laughs> earlier this morning so yeah let's get cooking shall we cook with me falafel is something i usually make when i can't think of anything else to make that evening i change the recipe depending on what kind of spices or herbs i have on hand this is by no means a traditional recipe this is again just something i make up so to begin i'm just chopping a yellow onion before i throw it in my food processor Next, in a food processor, I am committing a literal crime by using canned chickpeas instead of fresh chickpeas, but this is, again, Lazy Girl's falafel. You're gonna also throw in some cloves of garlic and any spices of your choice. I went with um, some cilantro, some sesame seeds, and lots of cumin, and of course, a little bit of cayenne. You want to blend it up until it's not quite a paste. You want it to have a little bit of texture in there. And then you're going to form your mixture into some patties or spheres, whatever you're feeling, and pan fry them. You can even pop them in the oven if you want. It's your call. And there you go. And we've got dinner helped out by my assistant who got home and really decided to help out. Which is good because it's already 7.30 and if I had been cooking by myself it would have been like 8 o'clock. Easy. So we have veggie rice that my mom made thanks mom we Yay. have my falafel my tahini sauce and then we also got some corn on the cob yeah hello hey how are you i'm breathing that's good yeah are you ready for your meal mm, absolutely i'm so starving And just like that, I'm back in the kitchen. It is currently 8.30. I work at 10.30 on Saturdays. I usually try to get up at 8. I slept in a little bit past my alarm on accident, but it's still fine because I still have two hours until I have to be at work. So I'm about to make myself some breakfast in the form of a smoothie, um, which I am looking forward to greatly. A bit later and now I am ready for my hang in the evening um, I just made some quick cocktail prep got ready and now I'm headed out so come along with me so obviously now I am at the spot the spot being Hannah's home I am going to go in the kitchen and show you a little of what we got going on right now oh <laughs> Hello! Would you like to give a breakdown of your board? No. <laughs> I was just going to explain the cheeses because that's always everyone's. What's that? Uh, we got some mozzarella, some herb goat cheese, some blue cheese that only I will eat. It's fine. And I, then some I sharp cheddar on the edges. Wow. Um, we got some pepperoni, some salami, nuts, fruit, bread, cracker, <laughs> chips. 
Bread honey and mustard. <laughs> Why did bread crackers chips just sound like a slam poem in that minute? Bread cracker chips. I'm so impressed. You were like some charcuterie, but I did not expect this. This is this is TikTok level. Um, <laughs> it's because I said I'm not gonna watch charcuterie TikToks. I'm like, I know how to do this. <laughs> no. I know the science. You know the do you guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Finn. Hello. I'm Hannah. Perfect. I'm, Hannah. I'm about to make some drinks and also dig into this. All right, let's get going. Um, I'm a writer, teacher, and political philosopher. I have great pretty Plato. I've lived more than two. Yes, you're right. Oh my god, hey! <laughs> Wait, you want it away over here? back at my house now it is like i'm looking at a clock that isn't here but i'm pretty sure it's 1 30. it's 1 30 which is the latest i've been up in just a minute so i feel like it was well deserved i am very tired i am taking off my makeup now good morning it is currently 9 20 a.m not the time that i want it to be up honestly i wanted to sleep in but i do have a, another job i run social media for a local store that my mom works for we recently discussed that i would talk to her about some posts coming up and organize um something for breast cancer awareness month so i am up we just did that um because i followed through with my promise she did bring me coffee as she is an angel so um that's something positive. So yeah, I'm at my desk currently, which has been my favorite addition to not just this space, but to my life. I never, I never knew that having like a designated curated workspace can really just like increase, um, not your productivity, but like your mindset around productivity, if that makes sense. That I'm not saying like it affects how productive I am. It does, but I think it affects how productive I am not because it makes me feel like I have to work, but it makes me feel like, oh, a little focused bubble. If this is making any sense, I'll show you. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, this is my desk. Yeah, I really, I really like the vibe. Pretty cute. I mean, yeah, what's not to love? Here I have just some old photos. Me and Michelle, obviously personalities have not changed much. Christmas time, sure. Here's me being a cool kid. Here's me in the kitchen. I think I was baking, so that's appropriate. Here, here I am in um in a traditional chinita outfit for the 18 in Chile when I was a child. So there you go. Look at her. Here's my dad um with the birds wildlife book at Christmas time. Alongside it, I also have a piece of a uh, really old um the history of English book which is all about um language and uh syntax and phonics and all that stuff and then i have um a rainbow air freshener that I, sometimes i'll put out here for videos and it goes in here to remind me <laughs> who i am here i have some dried wildflowers from the woods and here i have some polaroids that i brought home from new york that i definitely don't want to um lose here i have a little gold box that i used to use for jewelry which is why it's permanently dusty so now i use it for pens and pencils over here glasses another pair of glasses and these i love these these are my pastel index cards that i use so that's my desk i don't know if there's anything else to say And we are back in the kitchen. And look who's here. A marshmallow, a uh, queen of my heart. Um, Michelle's about to make me some porridge. Um, tell, tell, tell them what's in it. 
We're making um, PB banana porridge. Yum. Maple, a little hint of maple syrup and oat milk. Wow, what a fall snack. I just did like three, almost four hours of work. So it is 12.45. How? Question I have for the class. Um, so we're gonna try to make the most of the rest of the day. Yes. So right now, we're gonna have a FaceTime with one of our favorite friends, Gabby Whiten. You all know her, you all love her. Our nearest and dearest. Nearest and dearest Gabby Whiten that is not near um, currently because she is in New York still and we are in good old MT, but not 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 for long. We will soon be joining her as time is flying by at the speed of sound. We have only two full months left here. That is crazy. It's funny to see how so many people think that we're here permanently. Yes, guys, this is us permanently here. I decided just never to leave my parents' home. I think people like to make things more dramatic than they are. Oh yeah, people are always just like, where's the tea? And I'm like, there's none. Um, it's just called the savings plan and not wanting to travel during the holidays and put people at risk, you know? You, you said it. Anyway, so we are doing the deed of food and I'm gonna call Gabby now. Gabby! What's good? Hey! Oh, hey! Um, wow, a lifetime. A lifetime has passed. It's been like a month. I know, a it's month. been so long. Chili. 